What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to delete partitions on USBs that you just can't delete in Partition Manager. In yesterday's video, I showed you how to burn Ventoy to a USB, which is a great tool, but there's an EFI partition that I just can't delete, and odds are maybe you can't either. Let's go ahead and solve that. So, first of all, hopping across to my PC, I've already got the USB plugged in, as you can see here. And if I have a look at Partition Manager, so start typing in partition and opening up create and format hard disk partitions or something along those lines takes us to disk management. You can also try searching for that if nothing comes up for partition. Anyways, inside of disk management here, you can see my E drive is Ventoy and there's two partitions here, a main partition over here and a EFI partition that I can't delete. If I right click, everything is grayed out. How do we get rid of this? Well, we can start by simply deleting or formatting the E drive, which is the main part of this, and it goes away, but this partition still sticks around. In order to get rid of it, we need to use a different tool that's also luckily built into Windows. Hit start and type in CMD or terminal if you prefer that, and we'll be right-clicking this and choosing run as administrator. Once this pops up, we'll go ahead and type in disk part, one word, and hit enter to open the disk partitioning tool. Then list space disk in order to list all of the different drives on our PC. And as you can see, the only one without a GPT star here is around seven gigs. It's the smallest drive, which is my USB flash drive. It's an eight gig flash drive, so 7.7 .7 is perfectly reasonable. This is what it is. You can also check in your Explorer to see what drives match the size. Anyways, I know it's this eight gig drive over here, disk number six. We'll type in select disk space six, as such, all separate words, and hit enter. Now it says disk six is selected. Make sure that the number is correct, six and six. Cool. On yours, it'll obviously be slightly different. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. If you've made sure it's the correct drive and you want to get rid of everything, type in clean and hit enter. This will delete every partition on the disk that you have selected. In my case, disk number six. Otherwise, if you only want to delete one partition and make sure which one you are deleting, you can type in list partition and such and hit enter. It'll show you the partitions on the drive. Currently, it's only one of them. Then we can select partition two in this case, hit enter, and now we can run delete partition to get rid of this partition. Just like that, it's gone. And checking disk management, E drive is only one partition. Fantastic. We can also run clean, for example, which should clean the entire disk and leave nothing. Now it's unallocated. Sweet. Anyways, that's it. Now you can right click in disk management or partition manager on your empty drive, right click new simple volume and punch through everything as you would usually reclaiming all of the space that was originally on that drive. I'll just call it USB next and that's it. Now I have a functioning USB with the full size of the drive, no hidden partitions, no undeletable partitions, most importantly. And there we go, disk F, opening up a file browser. There it is, slightly bigger than what it was before with all of my space reclaimed. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. And a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter of mine. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.